I'd have belief. <sighs> you know how I'm hoping comes and visits? Guy BB, dude. I fucking... I love that kid, man. <laughs> he might be my favorite person ever. I mean, I've gotten into more fights than I have with anybody else on, like, on the internet. <laughs> like, even, even, like, kids I play against in League of Legends. I think those chests got at the top of the church, both inside and outside. Uh, <laughs> divine <laughs> intervention. Does Father Frey Frey have a secret he'd like to reveal to the class? <laughs> <laughs> those are those are child traps. Like why he has two black eyes. <laughs> 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 it makes you want to buy this little dead girl in a house two doors down. <laughs> Mm. Alright, wake up. <laughs> Fucking trio. <laughs> Just, I guess what I missed. This is it's a great it's a great like cutscene addition, man. Like they did it so right. Just managed to live that few more seconds. <laughs> Regular guy one don't give a shit. <laughs> now that I think about it, how did Father Frey Frey get on the upper right ledge? Did the skeleton take him up there? <laughs> It's a good question. This just, just isn't adding up at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this whole thing seems fucked, dude. <laughs> like, no, no, this doesn't seem right at all. Actually, yeah, how, how did he get up there? <laughs> that is a good question. Of all places to hide, number one. Like, and how? <laughs> number two, the many, more important question. <laughs> how? Obviously, they smuggled the materials into the chicken tunnel and then built it inside of it. <laughs> Bagel. Yeah, and on that, on the very same note, how are there, how are the areas at the end of those passages that are bigger than the passages that were there in the first place? Unless the Poyos themselves dug it out. Poyos with opposable thumbs, I think, is the theory. Or 
dudes with arms. <laughs> the answer is obviously someone else with playoff form. Possibly El Diablo Rooster. Well, I mean, he's already proven that it's that easy to give somebody the power. Yeah. Well, yeah, Chivo, or whatever the fuck his name is, he, like, turns into a goat. <laughs> does it. Yeah, he just does it. For no real reason, actually. I don't think the goat power does anything. <laughs> why, why, why does he turn into a goat, actually? I don't know. Probably to, like, go up mountains and put his fucking statues places. <laughs> Makes sense. Must be what exactly team. are these giant walls that are falling into place whenever you enter an arena? <laughs> this game sucks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this game's a bunch of poopy shit coming out of an orangutan's asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know the reference. Man, that arena was bullshit. This game vomits more marbles than fucking. <laughs> oh god damn it. Then <laughs> reference. It's pretty much any online or reviewer ever for video games. Disappointed they didn't add super moves into Super Turbo Championship Edition. Intense, <laughs> man. Nah, man. I want super combos. What's Custom combo doesn't cut it. <laughs> There's plenty of super combos. <laughs> I need cutscenes with camera repositioning. Um, it's not directed by Ono, and it's just. <laughs> like SF4 Ultra, essentially. <laughs> Dude, like, it seems like every single Evo that Ono's went to, he's been just ridiculously fucking drunk <laughs> whenever they put him on the mic. That's. I think there's a lot of, like, like, game industry people for the most part. It's either drunk or just, like, sheer social failure. <laughs> well, no, like, he's all jovial and stuff, but he's, like, fucking ripped, <laughs> like, every time they put him on at, like, EVO to, like, announce something that Capcom's working on or whatever. Have you ever seen that game show Silent Library? Yeah, I love that. <laughs> I mean, I'm not big on those things where it's like, oh, people get hurt and it's funny, but like, I don't know, some of those Japanese game shows are fucking hilarious to watch. Like, have you seen the 24-hour uh, punishment show? Ever. 24 hour punishment? Yeah. No. It's like basically they'll have a challenge that they do the week before, and whoever fails the challenge or loses the bet, like the winners, like winner or win winners, gets to choose a punishment that the others have to do for 24 hours. And like one of them was this guy had to live in like this condo, and he basically had his day like narrated through a speaker set inside of the, um, that was set up in the apartment, so that he couldn't just, like, sit there and do nothing. Like, he had to actually, like, get up, take a shower, you know, go to the bathroom and stuff. Yeah. And, um, the thing was, is 
the whole time, the three fucking guys that were the winners got to just fucking hit him with pies anytime <laughs> they wanted <laughs> during the course of it, and he couldn't react in any way to it. <laughs> like, he just had to take it. So, it's just fucking ridiculous, because it's like, oh, time to do some exercise. So he's like doing sit-ups, and every time he sits up, they just fucking slam him <laughs> in the face with a pie. Yeah, so, some of those Japanese game shows, they just they had the right formula, you know, like... <laughs> Another thing they did for that one was like, he was like, ah, oh, time to go ahead and go into the pool. And he's like covered in fucking pie shit, so he's just like, oh, awesome, I can go into the pool. So he goes into the pool, and like when he comes out, his fucking towel is just covered in pie stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so he has to, like, himself off of it. <laughs> like fucking bust him in his junk when he's taking a dump. <laughs> and then just like pie the uh, toilet paper as well. It's ridiculous. <laughs> but it's so good because like you know that guy, like when he wins, he's just gonna do something equally as terrible. This is this like a YouTube video? Uh, yeah, that one's on YouTube. There's a few of them. I'll try to find it for Twitch chat, I guess. Because the one that I always, or the ones that I enjoy, I like the, uh, the scare pranks they do in a lot of those Japanese shows. This draw is very funny to me. Like the one with the, there's like a cloud of people just like running at a person. <laughs> like, they, like they have like a hidden camera set up, like, and some person's just walking down an alley, and they just have like a hundred people, like, at the opposite end of the alley, just like, kind of like, they're waiting around a corner. And as the person's walking, like, you know, like, all of a sudden they all turn the corner and they start just charging at the person from the opposite direction. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, what would you do? But of course the person always starts just, like, running in the opposite direction. I mean, I, I'd be straight terrified, dude. Trying to find like some of it. I guess I'll just show like one part of it because I can't find the one that I normally go to. Yeah, I'll just send part one, I guess. Give an idea. It's so simple, but so hilarious in its simplicity. That's all. <laughs> Washes his fucking face, like, for his morning ritual, and then they just bust him in the face right afterward. <laughs>
to get used to that. I think I've composed myself again now. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, 14 minutes here. That's a record for sure. It always says 15 right there. 14, that's new. I need to build like links and stuff like personally I'd much rather have people like talking and shit to me. <laughs> no, watch me dude. Watch my stream bro. <laughs> like, <sure. laughs> I don't care dude. You don't want to miss this content, just trust me on that, okay? <laughs> that clickbait. <laughs> you won't believe what happens next. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's anti-clickbait, I guess you could say. <laughs> right, let's do this for the first time, please. All right, thank you. The gatekeeper has allowed you to pass. Thank goodness, dude. It's like a guaranteed gold split right there. Oh, no. Worked out really nicely, actually. So he's saying if you're coming from the bottom of that splinting block, like the bottom section, you could go towards the left and get pushed that way. So like, you mean from the right side? If you, okay, you know how there's, it's a T intersection? Yeah. Um, he was saying if you came from the bottom and wanted to go left. Oh, okay. Well, I may be able to incorporate that. I'll look into it. Because I know you said you went like in and out of that room to start it spinning. Yeah. So I don't know if that matters or not at that point. Not a huge amount, so I'll look into it. Ah, uh, save point of that. Um, okay. Got to make yourself nice sangria, man. That'll makes that makes the wine healthy, right? <laughs> it's got all the fruit in it now. Yeah, that's, that's, how, that's how wine works, dude. It's like when you make a screwdriver; it's healthy. It's one hundred percent juice. I'm drinking a Pinot, man. Jeez, get it right. 
If you're anything about wine, if you don't know all about the wine, where it came from, then you're not drinking wine. If you're not a real wine drinker. Then you're just. Have you had Bordeaux? Have you had Bordeaux before? Doesn't matter, dude. <laughs> What matters is what I'm drinking right now. If you don't know what it is, you're an uncultured fuck, dude. I guess it's a good thing I know what it is then, huh? <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Whew. This is going really good. <laughs> Keepa. <laughs> <Not a key. laughs> Uh. Yeah, all all things considered, this is going like it's going quite well. Yeah, like amazing, actually. It's the wine, dude. It's lifted my mood so much. It's so sad that, like, I'm just like, I just feel all around happier. <laughs> <laughs> that should not be how life works. All right, I don't remember every single split, every single time. See, the thing is, is even if you could clip into walls and shit in this game, like... I don't know, unless it did some really, really weird shit that just made no sense. I don't know how it would ever be useful. We've, we've looked into it. There's a couple places where you actually can do it. Um, using this weird trick where you can actually, if you're grabbing a pollo and throwing it as you enter a door, <laughs> it'll push you out of bounds in a couple of areas. And we know because when we look at the map and where the map takes you is weird. Um, is there a way to get back in mount? No. As we, we've or me and BG have explored it a couple of nights. Um, no real results. Can you at least move while out of bounds? Or? Yeah, you can move, which is nice, I guess. Just no way to get back in. Exactly. Hmm. Ooh, that was so close, dude. Thank God. I've been so upset with myself. Pity. 
What's up, buddy? How you doing, man? Thank you. Baron Von Proton. The man. The legend. Notice that sign in the back of uh, the red vine one. It's like just give up. <laughs> it's yeah, like giving a fucking all, thumbs up. They're all pretty negative. <laughs> you know, you know. Well, like most of them are like the motivationals with like you know just something ridiculous on them. <laughs> that one's just straight up just give up. weird ever after having seen like Alabrihe for so long now it's like so much more bones <laughs> That was fun. I felt very, very, very comfortable that entire time, which was nice. Damn, I never noticed how crazy the hitbox on Rooster Uppercut was. Like you hit an armadillo that was bouncing at you from behind. Oh, the music, you're right. Most of them, like, actually hit it off. that after this. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be hella awkward in the playback, huh? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so quiet, dude. At least you won't get muted by Twitch. <laughs> That's true. I've avoided all the DCMA claims. Sorry, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> the crowd. 
crickets will get you blocked. at least. Yeah. My perfect run. Crickets were a nice ambience, dude. I feel like a lot of people just came in because they were like, ah, oh, crickets, nice. I can stay here. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, that was silly. Like, the crickets in my... Entered channel. What's that bagel? The crickets in the background of my house, the back draw, I should say. Like, just, they're good crickets. Like, they, they serve as, like, if they could be in, like, a sharper image, like, uh, one of those, like, sharper image noise. Yeah. That's how good those crickets are. We can barely hear barely you. Barely hear you, yeah. Any better? Yes. Yep. Perfect. 100%. 100. Yeah, I've got um, about half an hour before I got, I got to start getting ready for work, so I'd love to join you guys for a bit. Cool. Oh, it's Saturday, man. You know, on Saturday? Yeah, every other Saturday I work. I've been short shift, died till four. That sucks, man. That is a short. We call those bankers' hours in the States. <laughs> we do, 9 to 4 bankers' hours. I know, it's funny. I work in finance, so yeah, makes sense. There you go. Although it's on Fridays usually, not Saturdays. Bankers' hours on Saturdays are zero. Zero. Yeah. Or like sometimes twelve to like two. It just started doing that actually. Yeah, you know you were talking before about um, that Japanese prank where there's a guy walking down an alley. Yeah, and yeah. Hundreds of people just prank. There was a British guy who recreated that. There was, he had like a prank show, um, but instead of just like people, he had lots of people dressed in huge animal suits, chasing them, growling, but really fucking charging. <laughs> 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 They got his fucking money's worth out of those suits as well. He, uh, throughout the series, he'd have he'd have someone like walking down the street in a cat costume. And then out of nowhere, someone in a dog costume would just come along and start wailing on them as if they were <laughs> on their patch. <laughs> really funny. Just to see how people reacted. I found that amusing. <laughs> Might be a British thing, I don't know. Oh no, I think everyone of all cultures can appreciate the kind of stuff. It's yeah, bizarre stuff. <laughs> but he'd fucking escalate it as well, man. He'd like have baseball bats brought into it. And uh, there was one, you just saw the camera that was like on a train, like just pan to this desolate place. And then in the middle of it, there'd be a cat like on its knees, blindfolding the dog with a gun, just blowing it away. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that show was that. That may have been like in the U.S. for a while. Uh, it might have been Trigger Happy TV. Yes, yes, dude, it was on Comedy Central for a long time, like way back in the day. Um, and then I don't know, like, why it got removed, but like, I was so young when that came on. The show was amazing. Sugar Happy TV, dude. Oh my god, dude. I 
it hadn't crossed my mind for so long until just now that you mentioned it. Yeah, dude, like, in, like a lot of it's like in slow motion, sent to like nice elevator music, and it's yeah. like people in like bunny costumes with baseball bats, like beating up someone in public. Oh my god, she's a rapid TV. Yeah, I forgot he did it in the US as well. Yeah, it was like, it must have been like 10 years ago, dude. Um, oh, definitely, I was certainly in school. And only for like, like you know, one season. Oh, shit. Shouldn't have said yes there. Anytime somebody mentions baseball bats in comedy, all I can think of is Will Sasso doing the like Kenny Rogers jackass for Mad TV. <laughs> oh my god, dude! Will Sasso, man, like hands down, like no, like one of those no contest kind of things about you know who's the best. Because Mad TV was kind of like so far, but Will Sasso was amazing. And Kenny Rogers jackass it was just so Phil good. Phil Lamar was good on there too, though, as well. It was okay, dude. Like the delivery guy or the UPS guy, like that was like his recurring character. That kind of sucked, dude. No, when you looked at like his, more like when he did like his pitch things, like when it was like commercial stuff, he had a really good thing for that. But yeah, just, <laughs> just catch the fetch the bat with my teeth trick. <laughs> fucking bless him in the fucking head. Hey, BT. Yes. Let's see how. Hello! Oh yeah, dude, he's the giant cell phone. Hello! I'm in a library! <laughs> shit! <laughs> dude, I forgot all about that. Yes, it's like it was. You know, it was so meta is why. Like that was like that was like right when like just being like an ass. Like was wasn't really respected, but it was super funny. You know, <laughs> <laughs> like now it's like oh, like prank YouTube channel. Like you're the best. I haven't seen the US version, there was one he did, it's, it's being like a suit, sunglasses, with like a briefcase, and he'd sit next to someone on a deck, on like a bench, and they go, number six, I have been waiting for you, here are the documents, the fella would just be like, what are you on about? There's that These one guy. These are the documents, number six. The, there's a guy, uh, Vitaly on YouTube, who like, he's kind of a douche, but like, he has a couple of these pranks, and one of them is, is a Russian mobster prank in the hood. And he, like, walks up with, like, a suitcase to, like, random people in the hood and says, like, you know, this is the guy? Yeah, okay. And, like, he's on the phone. And he drops the package down next to him and walks away, and they all freak out. But this one guy, <laughs> he actually handcuffs the briefcase to the Fuck. guy's hand. Like, it, dude, it it is, like, the funniest, like... Because, like, can you imagine some dude, like, in a suit is on the phone and comes and handcuffs a briefcase to your hand? Like, <laughs> shit, the guy's, like, <laughs> trying to swing it off him. It's just, you gotta see it. It's very, very good. I don't know, someone handcuffed a blunt murder weapon to me and then tried to run away. 
Hmm. I'm pretty sure he could unattach it from me. Yeah, I can, I can see what happened there. <laughs> yeah, it's really surprising to me that, like... Then again, I always figured maybe that's just all the shit that gets cut. You know? Because obviously they don't just do this once. They like, do it multiple times. Mm. Take the funniest reactions. I've actually seen, like, one of those outtakes where it's fucking hilarious. It's like this guy staging, like, a shoplifting thing. And he's just like fucking running through the hall and he just gets busted in the fucking face by this guy who's just chilling. <gasps> That's what he and, used to do over here. I don't, like I said, I don't know whether he did it in America. Um, it's Trigger Happy TV again. He just, like stand outside the shop. Like he decorate it like you're our thousandth customer. And he'd be like, yeah, you've got a free trolley dash. You just fill it up and just come out everything so it's all yours you're a thousand customer ready go and as soon as they go in they'd fuck off <laughs> and have nothing to do with the shop whatsoever um someone would run in fill a shopping cart up with lots of goods <laughs> run out to find no one <laughs> <It's> like shit <laughs> <laughs> He'd also have that coming out of pawn shops as well. Congratulations to our millions of customers! <laughs> and people would just be like ducking in shame, going, no, stop, stop drawing <laughs> attention to me, I've just come out of that establishment. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm the, I'm the exact it. same. Should have done it at a porno shop. <laughs> Even if it was like for like something non embarrassing, like I was at a gas station, be like, uh, oh, please don't draw attention to me. <laughs> Good luck. Well, I mean, you're you're entitled to your privacy. I mean, you're like a celebrity. You know, you don't want fucking assholes sitting up asking for your autograph and shit. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I got him. Nice. Fuck you, Poyo Thief. Yo, my eyes are too good for you, bruh. Dude, the gold splits, though. I mean, he got first on the, uh, the devil rooster thing. Yeah, everything's been, first been pretty, thief. everything's going really well so far. And then your Ellen Fierno was pretty on par as well. So. Right now, bomb, bro. <laughs> Stop fighting! It's, it's too hot! <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen Just Three Boys? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ridiculous. Did you see the one where it's like price stores? I don't think so. Oh, man. It's like, I'm selling $6.99 for $4.99. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I've seen Fire that. Fire prices. Then the other guy comes in, those are value prices. You want you want quality premium prices. Prices. I got $5.99 for $4.37. <laughs> <laughs> Premium, more like premium. <laughs> it's like if you go in his, if you go in his store, he'll rape you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he'll rape you. It's one of their best skits, dude. Oh. I don't know. I'm a uh, partial to celery man. <laughs> <laughs> that, that that is excellent. Can I get some uh, four three DP TV please? <laughs> 
Nice. Can I see a nude tad? <laughs> not, not tang I can get into. Yeah, it's tang. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm alright. <laughs> Just the look of pure Ooh. disgust, also. What do you actually. <laughs> oh, shit! Computer, can you print me out a picture of Oyster smiling? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be the first to admit I have a serious man crush on Paul Paul Rudd. I find him super cool as a man and as a person. And I'd also have sex with him in a non gay way. Good to know. Just throwing that out there. <clears throat> In case either of you are secretly Paul Rudd somehow. <laughs> <laughs> in case Paul Rudd's watching the stream right now. To see the um, the billion dollar movie. Oh yeah, I, it was all right. I thought it was better than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Cause I don't know. Usually, like I thought, I wasn't sure they'd be able to like keep my interest over the course of like an hour and a half movie. <laughs> yeah, like there. I don't know if you've seen um the comedy. Uh, like Tim Heidecker, like, they're really good, like, producers, like, uh, you know, they went to film school and shit, they're not, you know, like, like, all this Tim and Eric stuff, a lot of it's just like them fucking around, but the comedy is like a very, like, serious, independent film that Tim Heidecker did, and it's really good, um, in my opinion, um, but it's very, like, it's such it's it's such a, a critique within a critique within a critique, you know. Mm. You really gotta like be in the mood for it to even appreciate like, any of it. And then you know, even if like you weren't like I can understand people that didn't like it, you know. Um, but Tim Heidecker is just like a real dude. I don't know. I have a lot of respect for inspiration. So you're saying it doesn't have Eric getting shit all over by a bunch of small boys? No. <laughs> it, it does not. No. <laughs> Shrimp body loy boy stew. Shrimp healing. I think John C. O'Reilly and fucking Will Ferrell helped a lot though. Like even though they weren't in like a ton of scenes, they're fucking ridiculous in the scenes they were in. <laughs> Can I be honest? I don't find John C. Riley funny. Really? Yeah, like I, it's just it's just not for me, dude. Even though all the, the rules rules, I just I just can't. I want to, you know, like, I really want to. Like, I, feel, I want I, to. I, I feel like it's me, you know, like. <clears throat> I can't put a face to that name. I don't know why. Uh, it's early in the morning. I mean, he's watch... not, you know, super well known. He's. Mm, yeah, I guess I wouldn't say super well known, but he's been in quite a few movies. Like, if you've seen. Like, he's been in a few, like, Will Ferrell comedy movies. Um, he was in Gangs of New York as the policeman. Yeah. Um. Trying to think of some other ones that are like pretty big roles. Chicago. Or, Chicago as well. Um, <clears throat> right, Eel, if you're going to Sierra after this, um, <clears throat> sorry, um, change to Alabrihe beforehand and instead of going up and killing yourself, do the arena. I, I disagree, personally. It's much faster. I, I disagree. I, 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 
mess around with both. I just, I just, I disagree. So you gotta account for the time you'd save in the first arena with Alabrihe. And also account for the time you'd save swap up into the orb room. Watch how fast I did the first arena. Uh, in skeleton costume. Mm -hmm. Which is the same speed, essentially, as Intensa. I mean, if Alibri is faster than that, then it's not. It's not. <laughs> it so is. Not by much, I grant you. But it is. Milliseconds, though. Yeah, yeah. But the rest of it, it does save you time, certainly. But I gotta go to Alibri anyway. Mm. Um. For the Hagwar fight. And here's just like. Okay, I'm doing the arena right now. I'm doing, I'm still doing it kind of. You know, like. I might be finishing the arena now. Maybe. I don't know. I, I just feel like this is like. Pretty. Safe. Like, I'd like to do the arena, you know what I mean? God. This place is so weird, dude. that up. <sighs> yeah, that's kind of a rough section. <laughs> but you didn't fall, so it's the important part. Yeah, for sure. And easy times.
actually thinking back on your conversation, um, I think he may have misunderstood me. With regards to what? Like doing the arena without the Brie costume. You do know a man instead of swap hopping over and killing yourself. Doing the arena and go flying to the orb room. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Because I missed that swap pop up, right? And let's it's not because, just because of that, it's faster in general. The arena is way shorter than it is in Gold Edition. Yeah, it doesn't have the cacti, if I remember right. No, I was can. I was talking to PT about it, we were discussing that, and like, I don't know, I, it just seemed like if I could die so easily, um, then it wouldn't be as big of a time server, because like, that arena is still pretty long. Like, it really is. Mm -hmm. I'll just go back in time and now. I haven't done it in a while, I'll be honest. And like, I mean, this, you know, this is still... This rather, I think... You know, I'd say it's worth looking at. Because you do have to do the swap hopping going all the way up over the pillar as well. Oh, I didn't, I didn't mean to like, you know, say that PT validated this. I didn't mean to say I was just... I meant to validate the fact that I actually had, like, given it thought. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Well, I meant, like, it's... There's no taking sides in this. This isn't an yeah. argument. It's a discussion. You can it's have your opinion. Probably worth taking a look at it again. Because, like, what's the comparative difference? It's you have to swap hop up over the pillar and then die, and then you'd be swap hopping compared to doing the arena and then goat flying. Correct? Yes. Okay. I'm like. Four minutes ahead right now. Yeah. <laughs> Things have been going pretty well. Why didn't you import your splits from W split to this? He didn't know. Um, I just told no, him. No, it's on my it's on my laptop. Oh. Well that too. Feel the extra speed of the solid state. Yeah, I genuinely do. I need to get me one of those. Oh, they're amazing, dude. Just in general for like general PC stuff. Oh, Even on. just getting a small one. Yeah, really just for helpful. your OS, if anything. Okay, I have my OS, my internet browsers, and then like a few select games, like really select ones. Aren't you supposed to goat fly, dodge through those vines? Yeah. <laughs> like, look, like, <laughs> I'm in the middle of a goddamn run, and you guys, <laughs> like, every like little fucking thing I do, it's not optimal or that you test it out. You criticize me for. Fuck off, okay? I'm only really trying to help. Jeez, man. I'm messing around too. I think you might have an alcohol problem. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> As in, you don't have enough. <laughs> no, I got plenty of yellow. Don't worry about that. No, these, these, these suggestions are great. Keep them coming. I'm storing them all. Uh, 
<laughs> in a repository where I keep all bad ideas. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. There's no need to go all abusive dad on us. <laughs> 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 Proton the dangers of mumble backseat gaming. Well said. Let's <laughs> stop the test for next time. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you thought about getting good? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I might have to do some testing on that. <laughs> Christ. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> looks... Is there a recovery for that? There really is no. It's just, it's just it's like a poorly, uh... like like it's not a poorly designed place. Like Dan's game. It's just like for how it is in terms of being like fast about it. You miss that one jump. There's just really no nice way around it. It's okay that it happens. That's the first like kind of bad thing that's happened this run though. Yeah you can't complain too much about that. I think I also I messed up one L and B and already lost so which you know. I'd say one or two is kinda of par for the course right now. For the first set. I haven't been paying too much attention to your second set of Ellen Fierno. Right the second set to fucking breathe. Love the second set. The uh one. the one hit kill the ones. It's got me a couple times now. Why is my intensity are so green? Break some intenso barrels with a um, fire bomb as you're going along. I should do that, you're right. It's a good idea. Mouth breathing though. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's cool. Gotta keep that focus, man. The focus.
noises. They can't be good. No, it's all good. Pretty brief. <laughs> Just kind of silly looking. Oh. Oh. <laughs> At least it actually does something, though. That's... I love how it's like it, it's time the same, where I'm like, oh, oh, and then the reaction is the same, like, like leave the part. <laughs> Remember when you guys were going for that in like any percent for no tangible benefit? <laughs> I mean, it still really has At least no benefit. This it works. Well, in this one, it yeah, does, that's true, fly, yeah. yeah. I mean, it really wasn't something to go for. Like, it's not like the hard trick, you know? Well, I mean, like... Whatever, dude. In any percent. And this, it has a benefit, so... It's all good. I guess if you're bad at the game, like you guys, then yeah, it's got stuff that's, you know, hard to get. I know, right? <laughs> it's not like... You know, maybe the third attempt will treat you better, though. Yeah. <laughs> One second, setting world record, BRB. <laughs> no way, man. Maybe there's just... obviously... There's obviously... Some discrepancies with this video. I Maybe mean, just, not even music best, for dude. part of it. <laughs> yeah, you're right. This is the best, dude. Not about getting good. You should try that out and see that works for you. The timers? It's not perfect 60 frames per second, the whole run. Boom. Boom, pal, surprise! Oh! Didn't know that the Intenso Burst would kill a cactus. It's kind of interesting. It's nice. Give it one shot. Good luck. That's all you need, son. <laughs> well, Dude, oh. Don't want to miss my chance to blow, man. Alright, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope you don't blow. <laughs> this opportunity comes once in a lifetime. Take it. That's <laughs> kind of silly. <laughs> I probably saved like one or two seconds. Does that work out? Seconds. Yeah, it could have been worse. Absolutely. What the fuck down impressive. All intended. RNG manipulation. <laughs> the fact that you even attempt it on a run is miraculous. It is a decent time save. Yeah, 
there, but risk versus reward. When you get it every time, I mean, it's all reward, bro. I just gotta get good, haven't I? That's it. That's what you're willing to do. This run's going so well, man. Nice combo chicken finish. How does it feel to be a murderer killing Poncho? I'm okay with it. The answer I would have given would have been arousing. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta play ball. How's that wine glass looking? Pretty cool. Okay, what the fuck's going on? Dude, get in that goddamn tunnel, dude. It can be a bit sometimes, that one. Nice okay. collision boxes. That was really silly, dude. Dude, did you see it change, like, locations on me? I swear to God, it moved after I changed dimensions. I'm not that drunk, too dude. Powerful. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I'm not that drunk. It's <laughs> bullshit. Man. The tunnel's present in both dimensions, right? Yeah. But, yeah, but like it moved a little bit. Well, I was thinking like maybe it just like had the collision box still from one dimension, but if it's in both dimensions, it's really weird.
sword guy. I know, dude. Jeez, come on now. <laughs> the invincible chest. See, all RNG manipulation. <laughs> all of eggs prefer that manipulation right there. At least they paid off. Mistakes? What are you talking about? I didn't see any mistakes. Yeah. Kind of contradicts itself there. They're all perfectly done. Oh, you didn't see the, like, quotation marks I did? Yes, because we can do that on an audio-based conversation. Duh. What, you can't? I missed. I'll just uh, put my mic on me, so I'll probably say cry before I leave. There's so little left though. Yeah, but I'll be the like, fucking worst. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. I'll be back in a bit. I'll just get ready and hopefully I'll like five or so minutes before I have to leave. We'll see you in a bit. Hi, bud. That was. Pretty nice crabs. <laughs> nice crabs. I'd call that exceptionally good fortune. Those were all well placed rows. Alright, I didn't die here. Right 
them stretch goals though. What? Come on. Hey man, don't bullshit me.
getting close. Yeah, it's been really good. How have the trials been going? I had to AFK a bit. Really good, actually. Yeah, this is going really well, man. Gotcha, bro. Take that. <laughs> What's up, Flanky? How you doing? Oh, no. What's up, Flan? Is it Flan or Flan? Oh, my gosh. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, let's ask the British person. Sorry, what was the question? Is it flan or flan? Eh, uh, flan. It sounded like, like both. I thought it was a Spanish or a Mexican thing. Well, you asked me whether it was flan or flan. Uh, it's flan. Alright. Just to give you a... Contact there. <laughs> Score one more thing, I'm better at Triple Dog than that. I'm kidding, dude. It's only because you're so critical in my runs. Why was I the deciding vote right there? Because you're British. Good to know. Captain of language. Yeah, but I'm not <laughs> Apparently it's both. Source, please. Dictionary.com. I'm a British person. I still trump dictionary.com, so... This is all going really well, man. I'm very content with all of this. Oops. Final push. You have to set your SDG in Santa Lucita. Um, I don't think so, and I'm gonna test it out right here. Um, worst okay. case scenario, I get the uh, yellow block uh, area in Great Temple. This isn't terrible, but this is a good t time to test it. Nice. Nice work with the Elite Yellow. In theory, this should be the exact same, you know, where I'm morphing at right here. Nice, dude. Oh. 
Call the rehab. Uh, oh, yeah, after right, right, you got to do, do uh, yeah, yeah. a temple. Remember Poyo Bomb for next time for that room? Oh, yes, right. <laughs> it's funny how ridiculously easier that a looks room gets. Oh yeah, with Pizza. Yeah. Yeah. No love lost here, you know, like. Yeah, I don't miss that being difficult. Not difficult, just annoying. Exactly, yeah. It's just like freaking Jet Li dodging bullets on me, man. He knew exactly what he was doing. Fucking hell. This is it, dude. Yeah, this is a good run, I think. No thinking required, the pirate's an amazing run. An amazing run, I can't stick around to the end for. Uh, Ben Ortman? Understood. Yeah. yeah, get out of here, be on time, dude. Yeah, well, congrats, man. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. Yeah, you saw the, the good parts, man. But take care and have a good day at work, dude. Yeah, cheers. See you guys later. Bye, everyone in chat. Hope it goes back late. Yeah, me too. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> now for the substantially faster Kalaka. <laughs>
cool. This would be sub 150, man. It's really cool. <laughs> that panic map. <laughs> no, I was, I was trying to Jesus. dodge. I just my fingers, my fat fingers slipped and hit this life button. This will be a good metric also for the future runs. Yeah, for sure. This is like a, a really solid run. Like it wasn't like you know obviously perfect, but like you know. Like I said, it'll be a good metric because like it was a good enough run to where like you'll be able to see if like how you're performing. Yeah, play with you first time and stuff like that. Yeah. Blade, what's up, dude? Oh, uh, all right. And it's a strong run too. So. You know, I'm I'm definitely happy. And also, <laughs> I guess the other nice thing too is it'll also give you an idea of just how like much you can push it also. I don't know, what are your initial impressions about how low you think it might be able to go? I thought, with regards to in-game, 135, but I think it's probably going to be a little bit more than 136, 137. Um, I'm surprised you got so 150 RTA already. Uh, what are you thinking for RTA? Do you think it could go into the 56s, or...? Like, I feel like 57 is a possibility, but I don't know about 56. Well, I'm at 149 right now. Yeah. A low 149 also. Yeah. Um, I mean, like, maybe an ideal run could be, like, one. Maybe, like, with a couple... There's, there's, there's definitely more strats to be had. Um, like, a 145 could be, like, the ideal run. Uh, you think that low? Yeah, because I, I did, I messed up in LNP in our arena, I did mess up that one arena just, uh, and tried to the guy of... twice. Yeah, but most of the errors that you had, like, I can't think of one that really cost you more than like 15 seconds. Most there's, of them less than 10. But there's a lot of like movement optimization in general yeah. too, and a lot of select door glitching that I messed up. That's true, but like the optimization, you can't really expect to get like everything, sure just because can, of how dude. long the... Just because of how long the run is. You're being, you're being pessimistic. <laughs> being realistic. <laughs> I think that with the current route, I think 147 will be a good time to go for. I think with more strats and stuff, which will inevitably come out, I think 145 will be a pretty nice time to aim for RTA. Like, I think just because of how low your 49 is, a 47 should be within reach as long as you have like a really strong run and nothing really big happens yeah yeah when there's 745 yeah it's nice it's a good time